Welcome back, everybody. I'm Lisa Schneider Cipriano. And I'm Angela Scott. We are here today with the owner, buyer, Ingrid Harrison of World of Rugs. And Ingrid, welcome. Thank we you. are so excited that you're here because you're going to help me finish decorating a room. I've, I've tried to buy some furniture. I've got my paintings. I've got my pictures on the wall. I know I need a rug to finish the whole look of the room and I don't know where to start. But Lisa, you know what? That's so true because they say the floor is actually the fifth wall in a room. I, you know, I saw that on your website. I love that and I never even think of that. Mm -mm. There you go. It's just like putting artwork on the floor. And you can either start with the rug or finish with the rug. Okay. So um, depending on the mood of your room, those are things you should look at. Okay. What the function of the room is and then Bring in, if you have furniture and fabric, bring in cushions, paint chips, tile samples, and our expert team can help you finish the project. I love that because you know what? Mm -hmm. Without having to spend thousands of dollars changing the furniture to yes. update a room, you simply just change the rug. It's the perfect accessory. It truly is. It brings in color and pattern, mm -hmm. design, sets a mood or a tone. Um, for the room. That's wonderful. Now you guys have been in town since 1986. Yes. That's huge. And now I understand that you have a, a, an anniversary. You do some special days yes. for your anniversary. This time of year we celebrate our anniversary. We've been here in the Valley since 1986. Mm -hmm. We were locally owned, operated, based here in Phoenix, and I buy all our rugs for the Phoenix consumer. Let's talk about buying your rugs. Yes. now. I was telling you before we actually uh, started this interview that I was actually in Turkey a couple summers ago and the experience of purchasing a rug in Turkey is quite different than purchasing a rug here. I'd much <laughs> rather do it here in the here. States, quite honestly. But do you <clears throat> find the values in Turkey in the Mideast um, and bring the rugs here? Where do you purchase your rugs? Um, our rugs come from around the world. Okay. Um, it's a fun business because you do get exposed to all the different cultures. Okay. Um, and it's very exciting to see the different things come together under our roof. And we can expose you know, our customers to that and take them on a little like world tour as they shop for rugs. Give us some examples. Like What are, what are we looking at here? Well, these are some of the trends that we have going on right now. Okay. Um, our first one there are um, what I call botanicals. They're mm -hmm. sort of organic looks from nature. Mm -hmm. They're borderless patterns, so the flowers just go right out to the edge. I love this. Spring coming up, mm -hmm. change the decor in your living room with a cute rug like this. Right. And if you um, have the rug and you're going into a different season, let's say you're going into winter, you can change out the cushions on the sofa. You can Darling, take the I light, bright colors off and move to, let's say, darker, like brown Oh, yeah. cushions and, look and that. that'll change the whole mood of the room. So this oh, is nice. actually, this you can make this into a rug. Yes. Because you know this reminds me of carpet. Uh, my husband and I built a new home. There was carpet in our old home. Right. We looked at the surface of, of this new floor when I went to pick out the flooring. I said, you know what? I want no carpet. I feel like I get allergies. I feel like it's dirty. Right. I want rugs. That is um, a big movement right now going towards the hard surface floor that can be cleaned and then introducing area rugs which you can take out and have professionally cleaned yes. and bring them back into well, the Well and home. I would think too in Arizona when you said yeah. that you, you buy specifically for this area. One of my questions was going to be is you know do you look for different patterns and styles and textures for Arizona versus... Or Phoenix specifically. Or Phoenix just because right. I'm thinking dust and heat and it's just, it's, I'm assuming it would be easier to clean right. maintenance-wise. Right, just vacuum. Yeah. It's very easy. But we do have people who move here to our city from all over, so we have a lot of different tastes that I have to accommodate. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. We also have uh, a beautiful environment outdoors, um, but most of the year, you know, it's very dry and, and brown and gray, so we have to do something in our homes to really perk things up. Absolutely. Yes. But you know, okay, Ingrid, I'm a cheapskate. I go in, I'm looking for the best value constantly. Right. So I right. see this rug over here that's 300 I see this rug over here that's 1500 Why such the difference? Why the price difference? Well, a lot of it is the material, how the rug is made, where it's made, how far it has to come to get here. Okay. Um, what I suggest is coming into <clears throat> our store and allowing our staff to explain those differences to you. Okay. Um, they will tell you what the rug is made of and how it's made, how long will it last. Mm -hmm. um, 
um, and then the care and cleaning. Because honestly, Lisa, you with triplets, oh. you're not going to go into a into a, a rug into the world of and rugs. get an Oriental as much as I'd love to. There's it would be abused so far. Or get something really cheap because right. you want something that will. I would probably do middle of the road though. And those are both good points. I'm finding um, with the economic times, people do have less money to spend mm -hmm. on home furnishing products. But what we're seeing now is people coming in and asking for better products. Mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. want things to last a little longer. Mm -hmm. So they're thinking ahead. Mm -hmm. And so I do have value priced products, mm -hmm. but we also have higher end products Love that it. will last longer. So it's smart shopping, and that's what we're seeing now. You know what I also noticed too, and I commend anybody who does this, is that on your site you said that you are going green and that you offer products that will help the environment. Yes, um, there is all different products throughout your home. We need to think more about when we are done using them, what we do with them. Mm -hmm. uh, most people, when they replace rugs, they throw them away. Mm -hmm. um, so our initiative is going to be, you know, no rugs going to the landfills because mm -hmm. they're overflowing. So we're working on um, different channels for used rugs, recycling or cleaning and reusing in a community setting that's, that's needing that product. You know what I also noticed? too and I think I mean I want to come to you for all my decorating needs not just from the rugs <laughs> that but fun. Yeah, again we were well, talking she about used to work in fashion oh well no wonder okay <laughs> yes. well that explains it yes. but right. you, you have also on the site that you have a worksheet that really helps people put their thoughts on paper of what they're looking for and then they can come to you and say okay this is kind of the direction of what I think I'm doing does this make sense and it's a great guideline. Right. Uh, most consumers, before they go out shopping now, do research on the internet. So we have put up an informational site. You can get ideas um, by looking at room shots, seeing how it's all put together. You can read my tips. Mm -hmm. We also have video there on trends and styles and how to put things together. Um, but I really like our printable worksheet, yes. which allows you to write down your thoughts as you while you are still at home, collect up all the ingredients, and then bring them to our store so you, yeah. and let us work our magic. <clears throat> yes. I you know what? I have one great. quick question for my own personal reasons. <laughs> my dining room. Yes. Are my chairs supposed to, my, my rug underneath my dining room table, are my chairs supposed to go off of the rug or are they supposed to be encompassed within the rug? Great question. Right. Well, it is nice that if your guests want to push back from the table and relax after dinner that the rugs, the chairs do stay on the rugs. Okay. Um, however, we sometimes have limitations based on walls and mm -hmm. trafficked areas. So yes, mm -hmm. we do have dining room dining room size rugs mm -hmm. that accommodate that. Oh, right. Ingrid, right. thank you so much for coming on today. It's World of Rugs. They have five valley locations and you heard it from the best, Miss Ingrid Harzan with World of Rugs. Yeah. We'll be right back. Thank Danny you. White and the Rattlers are in the house. Yes. <laughs>